So in terms of selling yourself and uh, you know, the CV is the first protocol. Uh, you know, make sure that, that, you, that your that your CV is, is up to date and it's you know it's targeted and it's not too long. Uh, you're going beyond that, you know, and and the content that you should be releasing about yourself, you know, that should you know, probably start with a blog. Um, and you know, getting involved and documenting you know your skill sets, your experiences within employer with employers and companies on a blog, just so that you get used to um, publishing online and, and 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 producing content that people want to read and that you know are within the parameters of of of, of what a, a, an employer is looking for. You know, by joining LinkedIn groups and and and, and other groups online, you can begin to see how people. You know, express themselves, how they reply to posts, how they get their opinions across, and that's 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 really running in parallel now with 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 verbal discussions with employers. It's how you communicate, and you know you, you get that personal brand across through forums, through replying to blogs, and through publishing content. The next step is is, is video, uh, which is the the new. A way of being able to express yourself online, and 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 obviously it started from a, a a personal point of view where you maybe would have shared your experiences with friends and family, but more so that's becoming a, a, an area where employers are, are are beginning to look at, and they would, you know, it's a great way for them to understand how you would interact with them in a business because they can see from a real life point of view, you know, the body language and how you come across. Possibly that's unfair, uh, but unfortunately, it's uh, it's technology that exists, and therefore you have to be really aware of it and really careful to uh, express yourself and come across in that way. Our advice would to be, uh, if you're going to be involved with in any uh, sort of video content, is to make sure that it's well planned, it's it's targeted, um, and you know you potentially do some research on that to to get it right and anything that's out there. Um, you're in full control of and you know exactly how that will be used. Employers are expecting candidates to list their professional social media networks on their CVs. Certainly LinkedIn is becoming the biggest um, professional social networking site and you would you you do need to have a presence on there because if you don't, there's questions asked about about why you're not on LinkedIn, and, and that's that's where it's where it's came down to. Uh, we, we would steer away um, from the more sort of personal or, or um, friendship, family based social media, and um, that you know, is private and should not influence a, um, a a decision, you know, from from an employer on a particular role. However. You know, for employers, particularly SMEs, where hiring the right person is crucial because it, it could put them back a number of months if they hire and train the wrong person. They will do everything that they can to find out about who you are. Um, and, you know, uh, in the same breath as a first, second and third interview aims to get deeper and deeper into who you are, they will do research outside of that. Um, you know, and that that will include um, you know looking and trying to identify how you act, behave, and come across from a from a social media point of view.